The SI Foundation is a, an autonomous private uh, research institution in Torino, Italy. It is a small institution, it has uh, roughly 50 uh, resident scientists, uh, plus a, a very large number of visitors coming from all over the world. The ISI was founded 32 years ago by Tullio Regge and myself, both coming from Princeton in the United States and uh, determined to come back to Italy. The mission of the Foundation is to pursue the most interesting and relevant questions about nature and society uh, in, under the point of view of uh, complex system science and in particular using information coming from data. Leticia Govén will tell you about uh, her work in social media uh, concerning sentiment analysis and language emergence. Well, my research foc focuses on the, uh, the understanding of uh, complex collective behaviour from the interaction between uh, many individuals. And to do this, I uh, rely both on method from statistical physics, where the basic idea is to understand macroscopic phenomena from uh, microscopic interactions. And another aspect is uh, to use the um, techniques from machine learning, where the idea is to extract uh, hidden patterns from large data sets. Kiriaki Kalimeri will talk about uh, decision-making processes based on digital traces. My research initiative is um, to understand complex phenomena in the society as uh, registered from digital traces. And the idea is to understand the complex phenomena both in the individual and in the society level. ISI Foundation offers a, not only a multidisciplinary environment to work in, but it's also a unique collection of characters and this makes really a difference in, uh, in terms of collaboration and in terms of uh, project building and team working. Giovanni Petri will speak about data analytics based on topological methods. Well, quoting Mark Hacks, you could say that my research is about trying to uh, hear the shape of a complex system. What we are trying is to do is using topological methods to augment the statistical mechanics approach, uh, mostly algebraic topology and algebraic geometry, to disentangle all the information that is hidden within uh, complex systems in general. One of the examples you could do is that using these tools it's very easy to discern, to differentiate uh, mental states as represented by fMRI correlation networks. It's quite exciting, honestly. I mean, it's a little bit like being on a pirate ship, sort of pushing into uncharted seas. Uh, Daniela Paolotti will tell you about our research in computational epidemiology. Since uh, 2007, I have been using the web to ask people about their health status. Uh, we have been uh, building a network of web platforms in 10 European countries to have the general population report their health symptoms during the influenza season. Uh, in return, they get information about uh, the flu in their neighborhood, in their country, how to deal with, uh, for example, a sick person and how to prevent uh, contagion spreading. Michele Tizzoni will talk about predictions in uh, uh, epidemics. My research revolves around uh, the modeling uh, of infectious diseases. In particular, I'm interested in modeling uh, the spatial spread of infectious diseases. Uh, and the typical case is uh, the, the case of a pandemic, when uh, a new virus emerges in some region of the world, and we want to know which country are going to be uh, affected next and what can be done to uh, control and stop the spreading. And my research tries to answer all these questions. The ISI Foundation is at the forefront of, of this sort of research, uh, complexity science and data science, and it plays a, an important role internationally. I believe that the ISI can play an essential role uh, to the integrity and proce progress of knowledge and uh, its future is being faithful to the 
two basic principles of uh, freedom and curiosity, which are always uh, foresighted to its uh, growth.